at different parts of uh, HTML document. Every HTML document has several parts to it, but there are two most important parts um, that counts towards a proper HTML structure. HTML structure means opening HTML and then opening inside nested tags and then closing those tags and then closing HTML and so on. So the two most important parts that count towards an HTML document that every HTML document has are head and body. So a head tag, let's see, a head tag opens with angular brackets in between head and it okay, and it closes it with angular brackets in between slash head. So everything we put over here goes in the head and now head basically contains information about the document that doesn't generally get displayed on the screen. So you see over here in preview, okay, for the time being, whatever I write like this, it will get up here over here, but the information that goes into head, which you'll be seeing in upcoming videos, doesn't generally get shown on the actual display, on the actual web page that the user sees. I'll show you where it actually appears. And the next uh, part is body. So body tags, now the reason I'm putting p tags inside the body tags, I'll tell you. The body is everything else that is displayed as part of the web page. So these are two different parts, head, something that goes completely out of the web page, doesn't get displayed and body is everything else apart from the head. So whatever information we see on the actual web page is actually inside the body tags. The paragraphs that you see right now are inside the body tag. In similar manner, we will see other tags or the several tags that go within the body tags. Now, because we are looking at multiple tags at the same time, which is head, body, p, and so on, um, there's one thing to keep in mind that these all tags are nested. Now, what nested means is it's one inside the other. So, say for example, p is inside the body tags. Body tag opens over here and closes on the seventh line, but the p tags, which are opening on fifth and closing on fifth and again opening on sixth and closing on sixth line, are within the body tags. So in case of nested tags, you have to first close the last open tag. So if I open a p tag over here and type something in there, so I have to first close the p tag before I can close the body tag. So this is a rule of HTML that in case of nested tags, the last open tag or the last started tag has to be ended or closed before you can go ahead and close or end the hierarchically senior tags, for example, body. Just take care of this when it comes to um, making a proper structure of your HTML document. An example can be, say for example, I have a HTML document and I decide to have a head in it, a head section, and I give something in head And then I start having a body section and I put a paragraph in it. Now you will notice that the closing HTML has not yet actually closed. The color is still gray. So in order to actually close it, I have to first close the head tag. So once I close it, the HTML has automatically closed. So every tag inside a nested tag should be closed before you can close the tag which is upper to that particular tag. Okay, this might sound a bit confusing, I'm really sorry. What I basically mean is that the head tag which is inside the HTML tag should be closed before you can actually close the HTML tag. So just take care of the nested tags and Make sure that you close the tags in a proper fashion, in a proper manner. If you have opened the tag, close it accordingly using a forward slash character before the alphabets, just after the opening angular brackets.